Hey guys, Bass Pro Max Force again. Now today I've got one that's come in uh, just this week, very new, um, but it's been around for a little while from other manufacturers. So we're talking about the Tactical Tomato uh, John Wick, so the STI TTI 2011. Now Tactical Tomato, uh, uh, most people probably will never heard of it. I didn't before that. They're a small boutique sort of uh, uh, manufacturing company out of China. Um, so obviously with the John Wick being so popular, I guess this was uh, their first choice to bring out. Uh, now it's a gas blowback pistol, uh, pretty much like your, uh, uh, there's another two that we've got here on the market. So double bell and uh, I'm not even sure what with the other one mate but this one's a green gas all right so not co2 green gas uh, anyway let's go check it out right, pull that back a bit all right so it comes in two packages uh, so first is the standard second is the collector's edition so what I'm going to do, I'm going to open both these puppies up and give you guys a sneak preview. Now for these guys, they're not a big company, so obviously in order to get out of China around all the issues, um, what they're giving you is two slides, so, right, so that's our standard pack. All right, Tactical Tomato Master. Now, for those that know, that don't know, maybe tomatoes are very tactical. And yeah, all those times they used to chuck rock, rotten tomatoes at people. Well, that's pretty tactical, right there. You got to have a good hand or good arm, I should say. Now, first thing that I noticed was this user manual. It's probably one of the better or best user manuals on a pistol out there. Um, loads of pictures, uh, content, every part, what do's and don'ts, troubleshooting, and everything is well written in English. Okay, um, so very nice. Well done, guys. Tactical Tomato, after, uh, yeah, Tactical Tomato team did well there. All right, so that's basically how it comes out of the box with that very ugly blue slide. Now that's done, uh, and then you get your slide in a numbered box, same with with so. 27A, 227A, B227. So, right, so that's your metal slide right there. Okay, so that you will have to uh, assemble yourself if you uh, if you want your metal slide. This slide, it basically is just um, plastic. Well, I should nylon uh, slide that they put on there because. Um, like most, it doesn't have a license. So for them to get out, I think past, I'm not sure if it's past uh, Hong Kong or wherever, they need to have a license. So basically it's sent like this, so it doesn't come as a full package. But you do get two slides. For those that might think, well, that's a plastic slide, that will work. We've tested, we've put all the components in it and shot it with green gas. The good thing about that is it's actually lighter, a lot lighter. This slide, man, it, this thing's heavy, and I ain't kidding. This thing has some serious weight to it. <laughs> uh, just that inner, with that outer barrel, it's just that beautiful brass barrel in there, um, extremely heavy. So that thing, not kidding, throw that at your head. You'll, uh, it'll do some damage. All right, so go back to that. Um, so that's basically how it comes. That's your nice chrome mag, very beautiful mags, high cap of mags. 
Um, I mean, high capacity mags with, I'm told, 25 gels capacity. Um, yeah, just really nice. Goes in, slides out beautifully. All right, I'll whack that back in there. I've got one that's already assembled. We'll look at that after. So, cool thing is, two slides can use both. Um, so that's your standard pack. So that's basically what you get. Okay, and then we've got this is the collector's pack. So with the collector's pack, the mag is not in the box. The mag comes separate, like that. Uh, we can, we normally will put it in there if we're sending it out. There's your slide. And then the box. Now the box is different to the one that we got from the double bell. Slightly smaller and it's basically a raw box so you really could just um, lacquer it or you know give it a stain yourself with whatever stain color you want all right so latch and voila there it is all right so you get your pencil you get your card you get your coin and the pencil says Terran tactical innovations all right so it's quite nice, quite a nice little box, nice wood box, still has that wooden smell, pine, I'd say. Alright, so that'll go back in there. All right, let's get that out of the way and put that one there. So let's have a look. That's one that we've actually put together. Um, so we've ran this through its paces a little bit, uh, gave it a bit of a lube. Cool thing is, it's got your stippling. Now, that's not a proper hand stippling. That's, that's more of a molded stippling. Um, and but it I, I'll, I will admit it actually feels really nice um, not overly rough but still like smooth without being too sort of scratchy on my nice soft hands all right so the mags like i said nice chrome mags high capacity uh test that we've done so far says around three mags uh, per fill uh, with 25 so that'll give you around 75 shots up to 75 shots um, okay other than that um, now I know I've probably pointed out I think I said that the the slides were CNC now they're still a metal cast uh, that was CNC after uh, to give it a CNC sort of finish but what they've done is kind of like a worn out look on the on the outside of it so it looks like it's kind of been battle worn or whatever um, so for those that like a really perfect finish it, it was done deliberately that way all right so uh, with some scratches on the side here which is still painted over it just looks a bit more like yeah battle worn um, so now, just for those that have got or have seen the double bell, just a quick sort of little bit of difference there. All right. So first things first, probably the the outer barrel is a lot more bright. That's a that's a copper, very bright copper, um, and we don't have the orange tip. All right. So you don't have to worry about taking that off. The stippling obviously and the mag is I'd say longer sticks uh, out a little bit more um, yeah probably that's the first sort of that's the biggest ones for me anyway 
Yeah, and the trigger, that one's ripped there. That one's just a very smooth trigger. Yeah, slight sort of slight difference in the trigger guard and the upper the slides got a bit more um, uh, let's say it's got that matte and then the outer bits are a bit more uh, polished I should say or yeah but yeah no other than that I mean weight I'd say this is a bit heavier. I've weighted this thing. It's like 1.1 something kilos. This thing is heavy, man. Like that is one heavy pistol. <laughs> um, if you're out there doing that for half a day, I can tell you, you're going to feel it. All right. So, um, like I said, very nice. Feels very good. Well finished, especially down through here. Um, yeah, you've got your under your underneath Picatinny. That's got a very nice finish. Probably a bit better finish than uh, than the double bell, maybe slightly. Um, doesn't have that riding here. The riding on the tomato, the tactical tomato, is probably a little bit more white, a bit more brighter. Um, yeah, but other than that, oh, that that seems a bit more chunkier too. The the safety there, much bigger sort of safety. All right, well anyway, that's pretty much it. So like I said, cool thing with this, you get your two slides, probably slightly bigger mag. Uh, a chrome mag, so these are normally a bit more expensive, um, and I'd say a heavy slide. Now that can tend to have a negative effect when it comes to shooting FPS-wise. Um, we've looped this one up, so when you get it out of the box, and if you go to shoot it, it might not be as what I'm probably showing you now. Um, so just remember that. I'm going to come around the other side. I'm going to give you guys a, probably a little bit of a closer look. Okay. That's the make base. It's got the STI logo there. You can see all the matte and then the shiny part on the slide. And then there's the front bit, optic sight. Okay, safety, your thumb safety, yeah, so overall, very nice, alright, so, uh, I'll just give you, this is some of the numbers I got earlier, I'm going to do a few more shots, alright, so, see what it's going to give us now. Uh, no, that's, that's some crazy number there. That's, that can't be right. <laughs> that, that's a bit more like it. There are five. Three, one. My gels, I should have said before, my gels are probably, they've been sitting there with the cap off, uh, the, the top off on the, the lid on the bottle, so. Six. 
seven, and five. Now two, only nine. There you go. Okay, I don't know what happened there. <laughs> All right. I don't know whether I'm out or one got stuck. No, oh, yeah, one got stuck. I got at uh, two of them. There was two of them sort of trying to get through the same hole. Two ninety two. Alright, now I'm back now, so I'm empty. I said those gels were a bit how you doing? Um uh, And mags, yeah, it's a little bit cold, but not too bad. All right, so I'd say around the 290, we had a couple of 300s. I had some quite consistent 300s then, uh, earlier, but I was shooting them a lot quicker. I don't know whether that had anything to do with it. Um, all right, so whoop, just dropped the mag. Um, That's it there. All right, so tactical tomato combat master TTI STI twenty eleven John Wick pistol. So, guys, what can I say? Look, it's very nice and heavy. These days, I think most most people will say they're getting used to the whole metal pistols. Um, I'd say, uh, you know, not a bad job, um, compared to others, I can only compare it to the other one, so slight differences, um, shooting, about, I'd say pretty much close enough to, to each other, they're pretty much on sort of on par, um, very solid, very heavy. Uh, so if you want to run around with this in your holster, um, I would say have a pretty decent holster. Um, and but yeah, very solid, very cool looking gun. I mean, the the 2011 is definitely one of my uh, my favorites. So a very cool looking gun for sure. Uh, pistol, whatever blaster, whatever you want to call it. All right, so that's pretty much it from me. Um, thanks for watching. Hopefully I'll have some more stuff uh, very soon for you guys. I'm actually, I've got a couple more pistols um, on the way. I'll do some more uh, uh, videos and I've got some, some new stuff that um, hasn't been seen before. So keep an eye out. Uh, for those that want it, they're online, uh, ready to go. So get on them. Very cool. If you're a big fan of the John Wick, very nice. Um, Alright, that's all from me. Thanks guys for watching. Stay safe. Uh, make sure you carry your blaster safely in a bag. All that stuff. And uh, yeah, hopefully we'll see you next time. Take care.